Yeah, I thought obviously it's a great result. Um, you know, fantastic start scoring that early goal. Uh, you know, we were obviously extremely pleased with the first half. And, uh, you know, I think we were disappointed with, with what had happened two weeks ago in Portland, which was a big game. Uh, you know, we thought we deserved more out of that game. But you know, this is the time of the season to start playing like this, to start executing, scoring goals, defending well. Uh, obviously, extremely disappointed with not getting a shutout, but uh, uh, you know, a lot to build off of here going into the last three games. Slow starts had been a bit of a problem, but tonight you yeah. didn't exactly have a slow start. No, I think when you, know, when you score um, 13 seconds into the game or whatever it is, it's a pretty quick start. Uh, you know, that, to be honest, that, that kickoff is something we work on. You know, we train on that. Uh, and uh, you know, don't always expect to score off them, to at least get in their half, get up the field and start putting early pressure on them. And, um, yeah, you know, I think we have started slow at times at home, and usually we, we use the second half to, to build off of, and, and you know we, we score goals late. But this you know this was different tonight. This was, this was pretty special. How did it feel to be part of the scoring? First it's a, you know it's always nice to get a goal. You know I don't know if I knew much about it. Uh, obviously Hinji was in a great spot. Um, you know I think he, his defender was was hanging on to him, so he couldn't get a clean. You know, a clean shot at and more or less just hit me and went in. But um, you know, anytime defenders, you know, defensive players can get up and, and get on the score sheet, it's a big boost for the uh, attacking players. Although they didn't really need it tonight because you know, our forwards did fantastic. Speaking of a boost, what do you think it does for a guy like Torres to get his first goal? It's great. Uh, well, you know, I think you know, the the way we all went and celebrated with them, even though it's five to one into injury time, is, is a sign that uh, we know that guy's got some goals in him. Mean, we want to encourage him and, and, and be sure he keeps, uh, you know, he keeps his head up and uh, you know keeps doing that because you know, I think that's what we brought him in here to do. And um, he's been fantastic since he's been here. What so, can you say about the, those rookies, uh, Dylan Deshorn? You can't say enough about him. Uh, you know, it's, it's not just Dylan and Deshorn. You know, I still look at. You know, guys like Shane and Cloody and, you know, even Clint as, you know, first-year regulars here. And, uh, you know, I look to them for inspiration and motivation because they've been absolutely fantastic. You're not going to win every game 5-1, obviously, but does it feel like that's the kind of game that you that you all want to play? Is that sort of like the ideal that you kind of want? Gosh. You know, I think any time you can, you can uh, be up 4-0 at halftime, it's great. But, yeah, we want that high pressure, especially early in games like that. Uh, we want to put teams on their heels, and um, you know I think it's you know it caught some people off guard because because we haven't really started a game like that that positive in, in a while, and, and and to see us do it tonight, and you know we've been working on it all season, you know, and, and focusing on it all season. Um, we got to continue to start games like that, whether we're scoring you know three goals in the first 30 minutes or not. We have to continue to to play high pressure because um, you know we're we're a very very solid defensive team, and if we can score goals, we, you know we're going to do well. You always hear about teams coming in with uh, a week off mm -hmm. and then coming up, and especially with the tight race you guys are in, yeah. you guys came out alive and started off quick. What did you guys do during that week off to keep the momentum going and not come in tonight, you know, yeah. having that lag? The, the week off is always tough. You know, a lot of times if, if you go into the week off with a lot of momentum, it kind of kills that momentum. You know, we, we were coming off a tough result in Portland, and I think we were hungry uh, tonight against, you know, a very good team, um, you know, with the packed house there. Uh, you know, we really don't we really don't uh, prepare differently um, whether we're a week off or not. You know, and, uh, you know we still try to uh, keep the sharpness uh, through the weekend training. And, and we had an inter squad scrimmage last Saturday, which was about 70 or 80 minutes that most guys played just about the whole thing. So you just got to keep your sharpness, and unfortunately, translated uh, well into the game tonight. Knowing how tight the Western Conference is right now, how does a performance like tonight affect? how you finish out the season here. Yeah, it's big because obviously we have a, a team, San Jose, on Wednesday night who are now, I think, four points behind us. But that's a huge game. And, you know, if we go in there having lost tonight or only tied, they have a, an opportunity to, you know, to jump past us in the standings. So um, it provided some cushion. But, you know, we're going to go into San Jose, obviously, looking for three points and, and looking to build off of this off of this game. Um, it's There's still way too much time, too many games, too many points on the table, um, you know, for really anybody to uh, to be guaranteed a spot.